Welcome in everyone, we are back with another ultimate hunting video. This time we're going to be taking a look at all the animals of Africa. So I do want to throw out a disclaimer, I'm not 100% familiar with all of these species. So if you want to expand on anything I missed, just leave a comment down below. But let's get into it. We're going to take the same approach we did with the American animals. We're going to touch on the species, the range, the suggested caliber, and then a little bit of the trivia. And then up here on the right side, we're going to touch on what I'm thinking is the lethality rating. And just to refresh, I'm thinking that this is what the damage can be done to our hunter via this animal. So if this animal charges us or attacks us, this is about how much damage it can do. In this situation, it looks like it's probably going to hurt us pretty bad. And this one is the African Bush Elephant. Its range is mid and south Africa in certain parts. The suggested caliber is the 416 Ridgeby, the 450 Ridgeby, the 500 Jeffrey, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, the 700 Nitro, and then arrow and bolts at 800 grains or heavier. So if you want to rock a bow on this animal, you're going to need a pretty heavy arrow to get it done. And in this one, there's a bunch of good trivia. I think the best one is that their big ears slightly remind us of the shape of the African continent. And I can kind of see that with the way that they are shaped in this picture below. Having this creature in the game is going to make for some pretty amazing hunts. I am really hoping that they can put all this together and pull it off because it's going to be a great title once it makes it out. On to the next one though, we're looking at the Angolian Giraffe. The range is all of Africa and the suggested calibers are the 9.3 by 62, the 300 win, the 338 win, the 375 H&H, and, &H, and the 416 Ridgeby. And again, it looks like we have some really good trivia here. And it says that the newborns grow an additional inch every day during their first week of life. Which I guess makes sense if they have to come out walking pretty much. Because, I mean, you got to put on some muscle and some bone density to get going. For the lethality rating, we have a 1 out of 5. Which I'm guessing is probably just because they're not really going to charge us. So the chances of getting hurt are very slim. Now that's not to say if you do encounter them that your damage isn't going to be great. Because this is a big creature. To the Cape Hippopotamus, we have a range of mid and south Africa. The suggested calibers are the 338, the 375, the 416, the 450, the 500 and the 700. So you're going to need a pretty big round when hunting this creature probably to get through all that blubber from hanging out in the water so much. And then the trivia I found this one really cool is that they live up to 40 years. That's a pretty long time for one of the deadliest animals in Africa to live as they do reach up to 50 kilometers an hour. So you got this dense, extremely fast creature with short legs that lives forever running around causing some havoc to anything that looks weird. Kind of makes sense why we are left with a 5 out of 5 and the lethality rating. I mean, if you get into a tangle with this thing, it is lights out. And after looking at all the animals, it does look like this is the most deadly out of any creature in North America or Africa. And the reason I say that is because we can quickly move on to the lion here and see that their lethality rating is only a 4 out of 5. And considering they are a predator, that seems pretty wild that the hippopotamus would have a higher lethality than a lion. But you hear the trivia all the time about hippopotamuses getting after people, so you don't really hear too much about lions taking people down. And I think that's really cool that they reflected that there in the ratings. So further into the lion, we have have a range of Central and Southern Africa. The suggested calibers are the 300, the 338, the 375, and the 436. For the trivia, they can live approximately 15 years in the wild, but then they can live 30 years in captivity. And like we see in the famous Lion King scene where Simba is barely able to roar, by the time they are 1 years old though, their roar can be heard from 8 kilometers. So that's some pretty impressive growth. The next animal on the list is the African Buffalo or the Cape Buffalo. We have a range of Southern and East Africa and then the suggested calibers are the 375 the 416 and the 458. These creatures are part of the Big Five African game and they are known as the Black Death for killing humans and lions alike. 
Sometimes their skin can be up to two inches thick in certain parts of its body, so that's pretty durable if you think about a lion's claws. For the lethality rating, we have a 4 out of 5, so you're going to want to be cautious and aware of these creatures when you're around them. Now we have the Nile Crocodile. The range is Sub-Saharan Africa. The suggested calibers are the 9.3 by 74 the 9.3 by 62 and the 357. I've heard some of the vocals from crocodiles, but I had no idea that they had five different calls and they had courtings for males and then the peepings of babies inside of the eggs. The lethality rating of this one matches the last. It's a four out of five. So again, just be cautious and aware of when these creatures are around you. You just don't want to get snatched by one of these guys and then drug off to your murky tomb. The blue wildebeest is a very iconic animal of Southern Africa and the suggested calibers are the 30-06, the 300, the 308, the 7x64, and the 338. These creatures are pretty quick. They can get up to about 80 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately though, it sounds like their predators are a bit faster. They do migrate a lot and it sounds like it's about a thousand miles each year. Dang. Their lethality is a one out of five, so I wouldn't really expect them to charge. They're probably just going to get out of any area they sense any danger. Next up is the zebra or zebra. I'm not really sure. You can go ahead and make fun of me if I pronounced it wrong. I feel like the second one is better. I don't know. Americans just say it weird. The range is southern and eastern Africa. The suggested caliber is 30-06, 300 win, 308 win. 338 win, the 708 rim, the 357HH mag. In the trivia, it does say that the black stripes are to aid in thermoregulation. Although I gotta say, I like the theory that it, scientists indicate that the main task of the stripes is to distract predators and to distinguish each other due to the fact that the lines are unique. What I think is pretty cool about zebras is that like right on their snout between their eyes is almost looking like a, an actual fingerprint. The lethality rating is a 1 out of 5 so again they're probably just going to get out of any situation that they think is going to cause them harm. Next up is an animal that we've all heard a lot about and seen a lot of. It's the Greater Kudu and the range is Eastern and Southern Africa. The suggested calibers are the 270 win, the 30 odd 6, the 300 win, the 308 win, and the 375 H&H &H mag. Down in the trivia, it does sound like their name is derived from Greek and loose translation means goat, deer, twisting, horn. And they can run up to about 90 kilometers an hour to get away from predators. But I guess while they can run that fast, they like to twist their horns and get interlocked with other kudu and to some like rat king type death. Again, we've seen a lot from this creature so far, the animations and the skin, and I'm not disappointed at all with what we've been delivered so far. The lethality rating is a 1 out of 5, and they're again gonna just book it whenever something happens, so let's try not to break those sticks when we're getting in close. The Chakma Baboon is the only primate on the list. Its range is South Africa. There is a plethora of suggested calibers, including the 270 twice, it looks like. Again, they probably just got to tighten up some of the descriptions under each one of these categories. And I guess for the trivia, it sounds like it's pretty easy to see where a troop has been because they just turn over every rock looking for insects and worms while foraging. So I'd assume their need zone for feeding is going to be pretty evident when we're looking around. I would consider this a difficult hunt, probably going to be a lot of them in the trees and probably hard to track down overall. The lethality rating is a 3 out of 5 so I'm not sure if the entire troop is going to attack you so it's good to just be cautious. You don't want to end up in a situation like Congo the movie, I mean that was gorillas but I mean hey. Black-tailed jackal is the next on the list, the range is southern and eastern Africa, the suggested calibers are the 223 the 243, the 270, the 30-06, and the 7 mil. These creatures are scavengers, so they feed on smaller animals and then obviously dead animals that are just laying around. Their lethality rating is a 2 out of 5. Another very iconic animal is up next. We have the common warthog. The range is grassland, savanna, and woodland. 
in the sub-Saharan Africa. The suggested calibers are the 7mm, the 270, the 280, and the 30-06. For the trivia, the Warthogs use burrows for shelters and they enter by backing in so that way they can defend themselves and see what's going on ahead of them. In the mornings, they come bursting out at full speed just to get a jump on anything that might be lurking around. The lethality rating is a 2 out of 5, so again, be cautious and aware, but not too worried about what's going on with them. We are off to the small game now with another iconic animal. It's the helmeted guinea fowl. The range is Africa, mainly the south of the Sahara. Also introduced into the West Indies, North America, Australia, and Europe. The suggested calibers are the 177, the 22, the 25 and all types of birdshot. They were first domesticated by the ancient Romans and were used as watchdogs because of their alarming cry when disrupted. And apparently they can be pretty comical and actually notice their reflections in water. Their lethality rating is going to be like most small game and it is a 0 out of 5 causing little to no damage to our character and being barely any threat at all. For the next bird, we have the white-faced whistling duck. Its range is Central and Southern Africa and South America. The suggested calibers are the 22 long, an air rifle, and birdshot. These ducks are rather clever and they perch up on branches and can literally freeze just to avoid needless attention. Doing so helps them observe any potential threat. They do migrate throughout the year and they actually react to seasonal flooding or changes in the food and water availability. Their lethality is also a 0 out of 5. The African savanna hare is up next. The range is Central and Southern Africa. The suggested calibers are the 22 long, the 22 win, and the 17 HMR. The trivia is pretty straightforward. I mean, these creatures are totally harmless with the 0 out of 5 rating, and really their populations aren't in any type of danger at all. The Cape Ground Squirrel is the smallest animal in Africa. The range is Southern Africa. The suggested calibers are the 177, the 22 long, the 22 win, the 17 HMR, and birdshot. I'm really glad to see this small game in here, and the trivia is that they can basically live up to 4 or 6 years, and then 10 years in captivity. The lethality rating again is a 0 out of 5. Now the last animal is one we have seen as well, and has become quite the joke around the community. It is the Rock Hyrax. The range is Central and South Africa. The suggested calibers are Birdshot and then the 17 HMR and the 22 Long. Now for the trivia, these animals are very similar to guinea pigs but actually have more in common with elephants. They have the same build of toes, teeth, and skull and share an ancestor with elephants as well. Their lethality rating is a 0 out of 5. So there you have it. That is all 17 animals of the South Africa map. Thank you for hanging in there with me and make sure you're subscribed to the page if you like this type of content and want to see more ultimate hunting news in the future. This title is still in development but we will be covering all sorts of news and ideas on this channel about this title. It's a beautiful day so I am headed out to enjoy the sun. Thank you for watching another one and as always, have a good day.